Hello there. Welcome to this particular episode of Doing Business in Rwanda. You're with me, Naringwa Fiona Mutoni. The African Tax Administration Forum ranked Rwanda as the country that has taken the biggest number of measures to minimize the impact of the pandemic on the tax base. So what are those measures? Stick around for more. Twenty twenty was a stormy period that hit economies across the world and heavily affected taxpayers due to the COVID nineteen pandemic. To facilitate taxpayers, the Rwanda Revenue Authority implemented a raft of measures that include digitizing services that previously required physical presence. Uh, some measures involved um, uh, delaying the deadlines for uh, filing tax returns. Uh, we did that uh, for VAT and for the corporate income tax this year. At uh, different times, we, we kept pushing the deadlines in order to allow businesses that had difficulties gathering cash for them to be able to not only declare, but also to be able to, to pay for their taxes. So this was one. Another measure that we established was we brought the services, the tax services closer to the citizens right in their home. Uh, by putting them online, making sure that they can access the same services that require that phys their physical presences, presence in our, in our, on our premises. Now they are, these same services are offered online and they were able to access them and, and get the same quality of service, if not better. Uh, the other thing that we did, um, especially in the customs uh, department, we brought uh, uh, bonded warehouses uh, close to the borders where the truckers who brought cargo from out of the country were able to um, uh, keep their cargoes and uh, they were also beneficiaries of a lot of measures of, of, um, uh, of accompanying them. We gave them shelter where they could be as they waited for, uh, for their cargo to be uh, uh, cleared. The notion of uh, 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 exonerating VAT for some specific classes I can mention that uh, for uh, employees in private schools who were paid uh, not more than 150,000 Rwandan francs per month, we, we removed the, the requirement to pay the, the pay as, as you earn, which is the tax on their salary. So that has been a relief for those public private schools and some other, uh, uh, some other companies too benefited from that. So in a, I, I cannot give you the full uh, list of, 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 um, of measures by memory, but there are many to the point that uh, Rwanda has been ranked by the African Tax Administration Forum as uh, the country that has taken the most, uh, the, the biggest number of measures for alleviating the effects of the pandemic on its tax base. CNDC Africa spoke to some taxpayers who share their experience during the period, especially in regards to tax payment. The good thing is that, you know, one thing I like with uh, uh, the Rwandan Revenue Authority is that no matter what your problem is, uh, they have um, an open door policy. You can go there and discuss with them and really tell them, you know, um, at the end, you know, I have to sell, I have to do business. Uh, in order for you to, to uh, you know, to collect tax. So it is a mutual, and there's this mutual understanding uh, between the two of us, uh, whereby, you know, they, they also listen to us, understand uh, our business, and then try and see how they can, uh, uh, they can be part of it. Of course, COVID is a very different animal. You know, I can, um, you cannot just say that, yes, uh, because we, we talked or we complained or we were not comfortable with uh, the, the, the measures, uh, you know, they cannot just decide to open up. And this is, uh, you know, a matter of life and death. So, um, you know, and, and for us as, as a, you know, a citizen of this country, we also understand that, uh, uh, you know, uh, life comes first, safety comes first before business. And we had to find ways to go, you know, to our, to our uh, consumers. And uh, we actually changed our distribution system altogether. And with that, we had a lot of support, 
not just from RRA, but from in the entire um, government. In, you know, the police was uh, behind us, supporting us, allowing us to 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 go to to places when uh, it was even uh, you know uh, during the, the 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 lockdown period. So this is the kind of support we we, we received, and uh, obviously we also supported our distributors. Uh, you know, in in, uh, in, in helping them run their business during this difficult time. So, yeah, uh, this is how things went. This has been a, a very challenging uh, situation for us, but uh, this is where we see and we show commitment and we show uh, our partnership, not only uh, with our uh, partners, being the mobile network operators in Rwanda, but also with the government of Rwanda, where we are uh, we are also they are one of the most uh, important partners as well. So in such tough times, uh, we need to show exactly what partnership means. And this is how we pull our sleeves and say we are, we are, we are going to go through this together, uh, despite, the challenge, despite the challenges. And that's how we, we found, in fact, in ourselves that resilience to go ahead and, uh, and uh, continue being uh, uh, the, a good taxpayer. I think the question is how do you not comply, especially that um, you, know, you understand as a partner to development that uh, your contribution makes a great deal, it does contribute a great deal to um, assisting the country as well to ensure that you know, the, the general public is safe, they're healthy. So we're very happy that we could play our part. So we saw um, the need for us to comply, not as an obligation, but really a huge responsibility for us as a really big player in this market to make sure that we're doing our part in fighting this uh, COVID-19 fight. While officiating at the 18th Taxpayers Appreciation Day, during which 34 best taxpayers for the 2019-2020 fiscal year were recognized, Rwanda's Prime Minister recognized taxpayers for their contribution to the economy, especially during the pandemic, and urged them to keep up their support to the government's development targets. The government of Rwanda recognizes the private sector in general for keeping compliant with tax payment during the difficult period of the pandemic. We urge you to continue cooperating with the government in its efforts to revive the economy and combat the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Following relaxation of measures imposed to contain the virus, there has been a rebound in economic activity and the taxman was able to surpass the target for the first quarter of the 2020-2021 fiscal year by over 20 billion. Rwandan francs, an achievement attributed to tax compliance. Since we started the financial year, we, uh, the measures that uh, the government has placed for uh, fighting against the spread of the co coronavirus have been a little bit lighter than uh, the ones we had when the, the pandemic just started. So as a consequence, economic activities were able to be resumed almost to the full level that they had uh, uh, pre-pandemic, in the pre-pandemic period. So as a consequence, uh, our um, uh, revenue collections have actually exceeded uh, by a large margin uh, the target that we were supposed to reach. Uh, at the end of the first quarter, we, we had uh, over, I would say uh, from my memory, over 20 billion above the target uh, that we were supposed to collect for the first quarter. And then uh, the target has been uh, reviewed to, to take into account uh, the, that raise in our collections. So as a consequence, we now have um, approximately, as of today, approximately 6% uh, above the target. I mean, I, and, I'm include, and I'm included in the, the month of November. So we, I would say that we are faring quite well in terms of revenue collection. And this is thanks to our taxpayers who have been extremely compliant, extremely cooperative with us. Um, we continue to send the same message to them that this economy, for it to resurrect and be strong and for the country to be developed, they have to play their role and uh, act on their civic duty of paying their taxes on time and the right amount. Uh, 
uh, following all the requirements of the fiscal laws, basically. Although the pandemic is far from over, business players are optimistic about the future. The measures are still there. Bars are not open. Social gatherings are still limited. Uh, but one, one good thing is that we, you know, uh, as a society, we understand COVID a bit more than, than we did uh, at the beginning. Um, and there is this, uh, you know, uh, sentiment that things are easing up. Uh, of course, we want to remind consumers and, and everybody that COVID is still there. We have to be extremely careful. Um, for us, you know, um, uh, the, 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 the big dip we took was during the first time or, the, you know, the first period of, of COVID and the lockdown. And after that, you know, we have, uh, you know, we've started coming back. And we are coming back. We're doing quite okay. Um, and uh, in the second half, uh, we we expect our um, uh, performance to uh, to get better. And um, yeah, we we still uh, keep on pushing and expect uh, for better results. I can only applaud the uh, government of Rwanda and also the Rwanda Revenue Authority uh, for giving some uh, consideration to all businesses, large and small alike, during what has been a very difficult year for all. And I think uh, the fact that there was those considerations to uh, various organizations can only allow the entire um, uh, organization uh, landscape to bounce back a whole lot faster and a whole lot stronger. And that's all for today's episode of Doing Business in Rwanda. You're with me, Naringwa Fiona Mutoni. Thank you so much for tuning in.